This is a quick video that shows how to build a web server with the ESP32 to display sensor readings from the MPU6050 gyroscope and accelerometer sensor, as well as a 3D representation of the sensor orientation. The web server is built using the ESP Async web server library. The readings are updated automatically using server sent events and the 3D object is created using a JavaScript library called 3.js. The MPU6050 sensor measures acceleration and rotational velocity along the X, Y and Z axis. This particular module also measures temperature. Wiring the sensor is pretty straightforward. It uses I2C communication protocol, so you just need to connect it to the ESP32 default I2C pins. Getting readings from the sensor is also simple, thanks to the Adafruit library. We have a guide in our blog that shows in great detail how to get readings from the sensor. To build a web server, we've created four different files. The Arduino code that handles the web server and sends sensor readings. The HTML file to define the content of the web page. The CSS file to style the web page and the JavaScript file to program the behavior of the web page, like handling the web server responses, events, and creating the 3D object. For the 3D animation, we use a JavaScript library called 3.js that allows you to create awesome 3D effects and animations. For the Arduino sketch, you need to install these libraries. If you're using Arduino IDE, you also need to have the ESP32 file system uploader plugin installed. Create an Arduino sketch and copy the code provided. Insert your network credentials and upload the code to the board. Then, go to the sketch folder, create a folder called data and pass the HTML, CSS and JavaScript files. Then, in your Arduino IDE, upload the files to the ESP file system by clicking the ESP32 sketch data upload. When everything is successfully uploaded, open the serial monitor at a baud rate of 11.5200. Press the ESP32 reset button and it should print the ESP IP address. Open your browser and type the IP address. You should get access to the web page that shows the sensor readings. Move the sensor and you'll see the readings changing as well as the 3D object on the browser. You can click the reset position to reset the 3D object angular position to zero on all axes, or on the X, Y and Z buttons to reset the orientation on a specific axis. The 3D orientation is pretty accurate except for the X axis. Even when the sensor is not moving, you can see the sensor drifts slightly. If someone has good tips to better calibrate the sensor, it would be very useful. All the resources for this project are available in the first link in the video description. If you enjoy this video, make sure you click the like button. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and ring the bell for post notifications to catch my next ESP projects. Finally, make sure you visit randomnerdtutorials.com for the full step-by-step -step instructions and downloadable code. Just click the link in the video description. Thanks for watching.